United's intentions were declared right from the start to put Airdrie under immediate pressure. Jaron Nixon's skills eased him from the cul-de-sac he had seemingly led himself into at the corner flag. And when the move unfolded, Christian Daly recorded the first close call of the night. But the follow-up was immediate. McAnally with the free kick, Welsh with the head-on, and Cleland with the miscue and the red face. But even at this stage, Jaron Nixon's contribution was over. Gus Caesar with the challenge, and the man from Trinidad and Tobago feels the real heat of a tenant Scottish Cup quarter-final. Andy McLaren was the substitute, and his impact was to be immediate as Nixon limped off. Gordon Petric looked ambitious with the long-range shot, but indirectly it had the desired effect. Jimmy Sanderson's control let him down, and McLaren was on to the loose ball. 1-0 United, 16 minutes gone, and Jimmy Sanderson won't enjoy the action replay. Disappointment for Alex McDonald, and worse to come because three minutes later, United were 2-0 up. The long ball forward from the goalkeeper Van der Kamp, the touch on, and eventually it all falls perfectly into place for Billy McKinley. The replay shows confusion in the early ranks, but there was never any of that element in the mind of McKinley. This is a quality finish. To know United, and Idri had to respond, and it was to be Ian Ferguson who emerged with their first instalment of real pressure. A clever lob, but Van de Kamp its measure. No undoing of United, which more than can be said for referee Andrew Waddle's laces. Meanwhile, back at the other end, United had a penalty claim rejected. McAnally down the left side, and when the cross came in, was it a push? No way, said referee Waddle. The replay is indecisive, but I've seen penalties given for less. At least it kept Adrian in touch and had this Ian Ferguson header coming up, been a few inches further right. The Broomfield side really would have been on United's heels at half-time. Into the second half, and McLaren is again the torment of Airdrie. A superb run down the left, but in the wake of the cut inside, he might have opted for another stride before the shot. But there wasn't too much wrong with this effort coming up from Jimmy Boyle. Good build-up from Airdrie and a fine strike from the little man. But play swept back towards John Martin, and there was another contribution to United's close call collection. McLaren unlocks a defence, Daly can't walk through the open door. But, to Airdrie's credit, they battled to the death, and substitute Andy Smith gave Guido van der Kamp the biggest test of the night. Good move this by Idri, a great save by the Dutch goalkeeper. But if you're talking goalkeeping excellence, then how about this stop from John Martin at the other end? Great shot by Villa McKinley, and superb save from the Idri keeper coming up. John Martin still believing that Idri could reach the semi-finals. United, though, just kept coming forward. A good run here down the right side by Dave Bowman. But when he got to the byline, he failed to see McLaren's run down the inside right channel, and the required cutback never happened. And so to the last drama, and John Martin underlining Idris commitment. But victorious manager Vivan Golatz always knew his first division opponents would bring that to Tannadice. We knew what we can expect from from Airdrie. You know, you know this kind of team do perform the, the, the way they did tonight as well. But uh, I never be worried about result, the final result. I knew that we're gonna be there because uh, we are we are coming in right form in right time.
Andy McCann came on for you tonight. He did a superb job. He did. He did very well, and uh, I'm very pleased for the boy. But uh, also, I'm very pleased for the you know rest of the boys and for everybody. You know, just connected with Andy United. It was a magnificent night for everybody. Now we're looking forward first to the Saturday and the Patrick game. But let's look beyond that because you have a semi-final <laughs> against Aberdeen. It's a long way, you know, before we do play semi-final. I'm sure we have uh, quite a few things to do in the league because uh, I'm not happy and the boys are not happy as well with our position is in the league because we should be much, much high. And uh, I'm sure we're going to finish in a very high note as well. And uh, when the time comes, you know, we'll think about semi-final. And there is the completed semi-final draw in the Tenant Scottish Cup. Kilmarnock against Rangers, we knew that one already. What we found out tonight is it's Dundee United against Aberdeen in the second semi-final. Although that one will be played first on Saturday, April the 9th. Kilmarnock Rangers on Sunday, April the 10th. Both those games you can see on BBC Scotland on 